Make it loud right now for Joe John Sanchez the third. Nobody fucking told me I would get entrance music. That was exciting. Oh my God. This here is my emotional support beer. I'm putting her there. If I need her, if this doesn't go well, I'll visit her. Um, but you know, I do, I really love beer. Um, anyone else in here love beer? Yeah, it's Portland, we love beer. I, I like beer. Um, I especially like the concept of chugging beer. Um, Cause that is the one time in life that straight men get excited about competitive swap. Following. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say I am trying to do clean comedy now. Because I, I, I do, I do, I, I do, I want to get booked at like churches and like, you know, farms and wineries. I'm mostly, just mostly wineries. I want free wine. Please give me free wine. Um, yeah, and like I was trying to think of a time in my life when I've ever done anything clean. Anything. And I was like, oh, I was a child once. That's clean, right? Um, and I thought back to my childhood and I was like, wait, you were a weird fucking child. You were, ooh. Um, I would throw these like stuffed animal parties and I'd pile all my stuffed animals on one couch and I'd give them all construction paper masks and throw balloons on them. And at that point, I was thinking back to that, and I was like, how did my parents not know? How did my parents not know that I'd grow up to be a fucking pervert? I'm throwing eyes wide shut orgies for my teddy bears. That's not okay. I have been advised by my best friend and several lawyers that I should not use the word pervert in that joke. Because people think things when you have a mustache. They do. Everyone is like, oh my God, you look like you're on to catch a predator. No, thank you. Um, here's the other thing though. A lot of people like mustaches. I, ooh, ooh, ooh. Make some noise if you love mustaches. A lot of you little freaks out there. Um, but yeah, I had someone come up to me one time and they were like, I'd kill my dad for your mustache. And I heard that and I was like, okay. Um, could you kill my dad instead? Cause you don't get a mustache like this without daddy issues. It just doesn't happen. Oh. As someone with a mustache, it's very dis difficult for me. It's very diff difficult for me. Difficult is a word. Um, yeah, it's difficult because I identify as nonfiction. Anyone else? It just means I'm real, like J-Lo. And I don't appreciate being compared to fictional characters. All of the time I get Ron Swanson, no. The dad from Inside Out, hot, but no. Walter White, it just goes on and on and fucking on. At least like five or six times a day, someone will tell me that I look like a sexy Ned Flanders. Yeah, you like that, but I don't because I'm nonfiction and I don't know what to ding dong diddly do with that information. Oakley dokely, jeez. Um, I am also non-binary. <laughs> That's not a joke, it's not a joke. I am, and when you have a mustache and you're non-binary, people are gonna misgender you all the fucking time. And I went by he and pronouns for most of my life. I moved to Portland and I switched to he, they, because you have to. Um, it's <laughs> obligated, they make you do it. Um, and then I, I tried it and I bide it, and I was like, I'm gonna go by they, them pronouns. But I'll tell you what, what held me back for the longest time is that um, I like being called daddy in bed. 
And there is no word in the English language equivalent to daddy for non-binary folks to use in bed. It just doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I've done the research. The best suggestion I got from someone was parent slash guardian. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Parent slash guardian. What am I going to do with that? I can't be in bed with someone. And they're just like, oh, yeah. Parent slash guardian. Give me that parental unit. Sign my permission slip. Be my chaperone on the field trip to Bone Town. I don't need that energy in my life. I don't. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you something. I was in a secret society and it's okay. You can be okay with that. It's not a secret anymore. I don't have to kill you all. Um, I don't. Um, but we had this naming ritual and what we would do is we would all stand on a stool Oh, 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 it's happening. It's happening. And we'd stand on a stool, and then everyone would point at us over and over and over and over again. And then we would point, and until everyone was screaming the same thing in unison, that would be your nickname. You want to know what my nickname was? Triscuits. And I don't know if you've ever had a room full of people point at you and call you a cracker. <laughs> but that was my experience in college. And not just a cracker, but the least favorable cracker of them all. Last to go on the charcuterie board. Sandpaper for your tongue. No, thank you. Oh. Uh, thank you, Triscuit enthusiasts in the front row. You get it. <laughs> um, I, I am pansexual. Um, make some noise, pansexuals, all five of you. Um, yeah, if you don't know what pansexuals are, we're just bisexual, more annoying about it. Um, and I don't know, uh, if you're listening to my voice and you're like, this person eats pussy, um, the answer is yes. And also it's like, I love eating pussy, but I don't know if pussy loves being eaten by me. Um, that, that's a, that's a question I have. Um, I have to thank you all for being here. Um, I really do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. I love all of you. I don't know you, but I love you. Um, yeah, I, I love you. Um, thank you. Um, I love saying thank you, but I don't like when people say back, you're welcome. Because I hear that and I'm like, mm, I, you're, you're welcome? You're well come? You're well come? You're well come? You're well come? I am not well come. I am top shelf come. You always got to end on a come joke. Thank you all. I've been Joe John. <laughs>